what we're doing, we went ahead and set our board up here and down there on the end, send the measured out a foot overhang. And actually I'm, a little extra and marked it so we could yeah, get it off. Yeah, a little extra. And so I've got a foot here. I measured straight out and then here, and then I took my tri-square and we're doing a two common. So you'll just follow your common and there's two. And that's where the marks will be. So that's a two common. Show them where the pivot point is on there. I don't know if you can see that. See on your tri-square, it shows there's a pivot point right there. That's where you want to pivot it. Yeah. Yeah, right there on the, yeah. on that. And so to get that, now you just cut your... We'll do that on the ground. But... Yeah, we'll do that down on the ground, but you can see that. That just levels across, so down on the ground, I'll just cut this little notch and do the same down on that end, and it'll just set right on there perfect. And we go ahead and draw that on there because it's really easy to get confused when you get it down on the ground. So on your first one, it's, if you're not used to doing this, it's easier to draw yourself a little diagram and yeah. then take it down and then you can use that for a pattern for the other ones. Right. That's what I was going to say. You Sorry. beat me to it. I beat you to it. That's because you taught me how. I know. Okay. All right. So we'll take that down and cut it and see how she fits. So when we were up there, we marked each side of our two before. And this is a really shallow pitch, so it's not super critical. But if you're doing a steeper pitch, it gets technical. So you, you put your pivot point right there. And I'm going to a two. Be sure you use the same. This is common. And I draw a line all the way across like that. And then you have a mark for the other side. And then you take a square and line up line up those edges where this intersects with your other mark and that's straight with that. And then you mark, draw a line and that's your little part you cut out. And we're getting rained on. Yes. Coffee break time. Okay, now we're getting the first rafters up. No. Okay. We had to put one closer here to match the wall here. So when we put right. the, when we put the, uh, Board and bat. Board and bat, yeah. Yeah, that way I have something to nail to. Yeah. Almost said live edge. Well, it's got to be closed off there anyway. The chickens will fly out. <laughs> Since we're not putting the ceiling in, that's kind of important. But there will be another one. Huh? Of course there is. I cut out. past about a half inch. Yeah. Because the blade's round. Yes. Then you go a half inch and it falls out. cutting them from both sides just so you don't have to overcut so much. If you're not picky, you can do it just overcutting. Hey. Finally quit raining. He's been working in the rain most of the morning. We almost got a roof over our head. We do. You get some metal up there. Let's Cut another one. Doing a dang good job up there, old man. <laughs> All right now. Well, 
you like that. Huh? You like that? Yep, that looks good. Oh no. Oh man. We'll see you catch that. That was a good catch. <laughs> I don't get impressed with myself too much. <laughs> you that don't impress me there. I thought it was about every other minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give me that tape major. <laughs> okay, we got all the rafters up. Now he's putting up one by fours. So the metal will set on it. Yeah. If you don't know that. Okay. Uh, Here again, we've only used two befores for this because it's a chicken house. If you live in an area where there's a lot of snow or a heavy snow load, you may want to do a steeper pitch and maybe heavier, like two by sixes instead of two befores. But we don't get snow here, so very little. Are you trimming the trees with a chop with a like skill saw? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got it running into those things. Or should we leave that there for shade? Ah, uh, there's other shade. <laughs> Whatever. That rigid skill saw is one tree coming right there. <laughs> Don't fall off. Huh? <laughs> okay, and we had to put a little one by two blocking on top of the rafters so that it would be the same height as the one by four stripping that we put up there. That way nothing can crawl through there like a snake or anything to get in to get the chickens. We had to do that on both ends of the of the little hutch. And then we'll have to do one on the end, the very end of the screened in part too. Brody, what are you doing? Mama said no. You better leave it alone. Leave that little rabbit alone. He's not hurting you. Leave it. I knew I'd get her inside this coop eventually. <laughs> She's putting up board and batten. Oh, yeah. I got it all cut while you were gone. That's good. That means you was working while I was gone. Okay, bye. One thing we forgot to do is right up on top of the wall, above the ceiling joist, we need to put a right. one by two. Yeah, you can see where he's pointing. That'll close off that when we get the blocking up under there. Because otherwise you'd have a an inch gap from the, you know, because those other one by fours left the tin up and we don't want a gap anywhere. So critters won't get the chickens. Snakes, we have a lot of snakes here. That would be hard to, put, hard to put in later. And then we'll fill in between each one of the ceiling, each one of the rafters will fill in with uh, locking. Because we can nail that in here, but anyway. Okay. Need a little short piece? Yeah. 
cutting the tin down to size. My Malco nibbler. Way, so don't get I guess. <laughs> Is this like a, when I was a little kid, I cut out a dress on my bedspread and cut my bedspread all out? Have you ever cut through the side of your <laughs> my bed? <laughs> your bed? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it Sit for about that much. I'll we'll have to cut another one and cut these Cool. So you're almost there. Yeah. makes the most horrible noise in the world when he pulls it up here so I won't put y'all through that right. it's like the worst fingernails on a chalkboard hang on don't go yet Indy's under you wait oh, I just ran out. she's closing that end in with bad and board board and batten <laughs> I said bad and board uh, you can see this string here hanging See, it's flopping. That's to keep me from ramming She ran her head into that beam, I don't know, four or five times at today. Least, at least. Yeah, it's six o'clock this morning. Send the drug me out of bed. I come outside. Look where I found her. She's in the chicken coop. She's already in here working. Uh -huh. Look out there and see if that looks straight with the ones we'll look for halfway close. When I get the back on, will that be halfway straight? Yeah. Okay. That was hard to do. I should have looking good. The bottom part different. And I'm putting these blocks in up here. You can see them right there. You can see the open spots. We're blocking all that in, so try to keep snakes and stuff out. Well, I'm staying in the hutch. It was white like that, the pine. And you see where I'm staining right now. So I'm going to get everything stained up really good. And I'm using that... Uh, really good stain that we bought and we put on our uh, cabin our log cabin and uh it is really well it's some of the best stuff i've ever seen i've never seen anything that's even equal to it but it's a preservative it don't just cover it it soaks in and it preserves the wood so that's what we're going to use on this thing we're going to have her done here in no time sunday had to go in and get her uh, to the get her teeth looked at so she's not here right now but she'll be back well guys we got rain coming but uh, got the roof over the nesting boxes got everything stained on the outside and pretty much got all this done son has got all the dividers in there i've got all this with a light coat of stain and this is stain that won't hurt animals which is nice it's what we put on the log it keeps insects out but uh, i think it's going to do really good 
think we got maybe, I don't know, five days in it, something like that. But uh, we'll get the hardware cloth on. Probably won't get it on till Monday, but we'll film doing that, show you how to do that. Sure, thank you guys for watching our videos over the last couple years and supporting us. You guys have been really awesome. Thanks again. I went and went for a walk this morning. Lance cut some nice hickory roosts. They got a good texture on them, so that should be good for the birds to sit on. We'll see if they like them. One of them may be too thick, but we'll just see what size they like. Let them give it a try. It's supposed to be pretty warm tomorrow. It's supposed to be our last chilly night. Oh my goodness, there's a possum sneaking in. <laughs> get stuck <laughs> oh my goodness uh, we got all the screen in in this one we're working on the big one I feel like i'm in a cage yeah what do you think andy we got to do a little bit more staining out here we did the inside row a couple days ago just so we'd be airing out so we could get the get the chicks out here because they're out growing their little rubber made tub they need some more room so we'll put a light light out here for him. Andy still likes the, he still likes this. He thinks it's for him. He says this is the biggest dog house ever. Okay. Okay. I've got this uh, cloth and I'm lining it up with just following the lines in the attack two spots up there and line the top up. And now I'm just going to follow this down and stretch it. Actually, I didn't do it like that before. You want to? I'll start up here. Yeah, yeah. just work your way down. Yeah. yeah. I can get my arm up there. There we go. That edge right there, that line, I'm just following right here on the board. Yeah, keep it straight. Yeah. And that's been good. <laughs> you have nails. That's been working really good, isn't it, that way? <laughs> Gotta help my arm up. <laughs> That's how you do it. And he's going across the... Yeah. I shoot right across the two little deals. The two state, uh, yeah, so I'm getting the intersection. Yeah, the intersection. That's a good point. That's a good word. Intersection. All right, that's following that good. So that'll work. And one way you can stretch it real easy, what I was helping him with earlier, if you don't want to hurt your hands, just stick the handles of the pliers in. And you can pull down with it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see this. Doesn't hurt his hands as bad. <clears throat> and get a good grip that way. All right. Hen house all closed in. We just got to put some hardware on it and finish staining the outside. And that part will be ready to go. I'm going to try to get the girls in there in the next day or two because it's supposed to be warm enough I think, outside. Well, we got everything all ready. We bought a watering bill and it's got a built-in heater for like 49 bucks at Atwoods. But we went ahead and got it since we don't have much money in this thing. <laughs> and there's our feeder and there's our light back there. So we soon may have gonna, to lower the light. We'll see how they going to start putting them in there. Oh, baby. There you go. Looky there. Look at the trail you have. My goodness. <laughs> They're going, what in the world? I'm going to be a red. Oh. 
one for us. It's okay. Wait till we get the time. It's not quite so scary that way. There you go. <laughs> Oh, look at all that room he's going to have. Watch him, they're going to jump out. There you go. One more. Hey, girls. Son to throw them some worms. And they like worms. You guys like the worms? Huh? Is that pretty cool? Really enjoying having room to fly. They're trying out their wings. <laughs> He's working on the door. We got some little shims underneath. He's going ahead and just putting it together actually in the frame. Kind of holds it square where it needs to be. And he decided to go ahead and put the hinges on so it'll hold it. Got the door built. Looks pretty good. I know. Got the blue wood on it. <laughs> yeah. Need the handles and, and got the hinges on. Just need the handle and the latch. And the screen. And we got a little bit of staining left to do. Yep. All trusses. we gotta do is the trusses and then we'll be done. And the door. And put the screen around the bottom. Yep, and gotta we'll do, do the predator screen and fill a little gravel in around the bottom. All right. Two weeks old today. As you can see, they're really enjoying their bigger space. They've been practicing flapping their wings and running. greens are eaten and they've got earthworms. We put a little temporary perch in here for the chicks. They've been trying to get up higher on stuff and so they're not quite big enough to get to the big perches up there. They were scared of it at first but they're kind of eyeballing it now. We'll see who is the first one to get brave. Little black astral lork was the first one to figure it out. They can all get up that high. They've been jumping up onto the nest boxes. They're just nervous about it because it's new in here. It's only been in here about 10 minutes and they're already getting on it. Well, we're getting our wire, security wire on the outside of it. And then he's helping. He's sleeping right there. And Cinda's finishing up over here and she just ran out of staples. Hey, I'm not gonna unplug it this time. <laughs> Cause this one runs on air. Yeah, but I'm still not gonna unplug it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the cloth. Oh, probably, what, 18? Is it two foot cut at? Yeah, it's two foot. And we yeah, go up yeah. the wall just a little. You can see it. And so we're burying that all the way around. We're going to take some rock, a thin layer of SB2 and put on that, that I got. And then dirt on, you're going to put some dirt on it or just leave it rock? Uh, I'm just going to do a little rock right at the edge and then dirt out here. Then dirt, okay. okay. Just Remember our nice shed that was sitting here? Ugly, oh, no, ugly, it's gone. Shed. <laughs> shed is gone. And so it's looking really good now. Gotta bring some dirt in here and do a little landscaping. Yeah. Make it look nice. Yeah, Cindy just opened up the 
door. We're gonna let them out since we've got it closed off. They're a little bit small, but we're gonna try it. She's putting out. some lettuce. You're smart. Look at there, Andy. They're gonna come outside. Ain't that awesome? The girls are finally getting brave enough to come peeking out. This one is always one of the first ones to do everything. She said, Mom, give me some clover. I see some clover? Here you go. Oh man, they're all coming out now. Look at you girls. You're so smart. Oh, she flew down. Good job, girl. We've got eight of them coming down into the big area, and they're loving it. Oh, here comes two more. Now they're going back. Here they come. As you can see, we sprayed some spray foam up in there, and I've already dug it out. It just, it just didn't look good. You can kind of see the yellow. We didn't like it. So, Cinda's cutting some pieces of this foam we have, and we're gonna seal it off with it. We did mention that we are hoarders, right? This is what we had left over from the packing on our e-bikes. <laughs> yeah, we didn't throw it away. It looks too good to throw away. And look how good it's working. Huh? And look how good it's working. Yeah. Let me show you guys one. Yeah, I shoved that in there like that, and now it's all sealed off. Snakes can get in. Well, and we had a wren come through one of those two days ago and it was caught inside. It came through that little hole. That little hole like that. So she cut me some of these. I'm going to lay them right there. I'll just put one in my hand. And we're going to stack this in here. And I've got a special tool. Custom made. Custom made <laughs> railroad spike. Looks really good. We have a lot of, I have a koi pond, and so we have a lot of big snakes, that. and they can climb up anything. Yeah. So we don't want them to get our baby birds or the eggs. Mm. That looks way better than the ugly yellow foam it does, coming don't. out. Yeah. All right. Like that. You want to put a screw in the bottom? Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. You think that's going to fall off? <laughs> no, but it might twist. <laughs> How do you like me now? I do. I like it a lot. The girls said they had to have a sign so they knew where home was. Surgeon's <laughs> chicken hat. <laughs> chicken coop. Got our name on it. How'd you make that with a plasma cutter? <laughs> no, it's called Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> hey girls. Well, the chicks are full blown outside now. Andy, stay up. Come here, girls. Stay here. Leave me here. They go <laughs> crazy over watermelon. <laughs> they like that, don't they? Give me, girls. You can get lots of greens and worms. And the babies, huh? You guys doing okay? They've been foraging quite a bit for their I own stuff, it. too. I know it. Which one do you like, Kate? That one? <laughs> this is what it'll look like here in just a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> they don't waste anything. That's one of my favorite things about chickens is they don't, you can put stuff out here that would go to waste and they turn it into eggs. But man, they're growing. They are eating machines. Yes, you are. You're getting so big. 
It's so big. I know. The little black ones are shyer than the rest of them. All right, I'll leave it up. And we found him. He got up in the wheel, bro, for some reason. I think he's looking for food. Brody, how'd you get in there without tipping that over? <laughs> Just, like Just like that. that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what he was doing. I stuck the can of bird feed in there. The he chicken. jumped up in there and has got the bucket and everything in the way. Oh, he ate and it didn't all. knock it over. <laughs> Guys, we are done with our chicken coop. Uh, it took us probably around six days right in that area. And uh, then we did a little extra cutting all the, all the wood for this on the mill. But uh, it was it was a fun job. It turned out better even than we thought it would, that, it, that it was going to. And we sure enjoyed and had a good time doing it. And uh, the, all our girls, we'll call them girls. We don't call them chickens because our dogs like chicken to eat. <laughs> so we're going to go with girls. But they've been in here, what, two weeks? Yeah. Right there? They're about a month old now. And they're really growing. They're, they're loving it out here. And so they just eat everything you put in there. Send to put her little boxes there that were full of weeds and they've already cleaned them all out. Yeah, I put those in there this morning. I was pulling weeds out and I thought, well, that's crazy. I'll just stick them in there and let the chickens do it. Yep. In about 30 minutes, the weeds were gone. So we'll just kind of show you how everything works. This is the side where, the, uh, uh, where they roost and had their eggs. So we just got a little carabine deal to put it on there. And uh, that opens up and you can reach in there and and get the eggs out and so it's it's turned it turned out really good too so we got six nest boxes all together yep got three more over there we have 14 hens so that's probably more than we need but we just got enough so they didn't have to fight over them yeah they usually share but then we got a really cool little sign that we got off of etsy i don't know how they got our name <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did all right let me show you this is the front of it let me show you how the doors are going to work here. You just unlatch it. And so to clean this box out, we're going to open that all the way. And this has two latches on it. Watch out. So, Baby's coming over to see you. Uh-oh. Stay in there, guys. You stay in there. But those that's going to go like that. We'll put a wheelbarrow here, and we can just drag and clean all that out really good. You guys stay inside. I know. You want to come see Mama, don't you? They're used to me giving them treats when I open the doors, so that's why they're coming to see what's going yeah. on. Okay, we'll go ahead and shut her, but we recommend anybody that needs a chicken coop do one just like it or maybe make some improvements yeah. on some of the stuff. Yeah.